Artificial intelligence. It was supposed to be the sum total of mankind's knowledge. The technology that would cure society's ills and usher it into a new age of enlightenment and show me what I'd look like as a centaur. <laughs> Tinder matches, here I come. But it turns out when you absorb all of humanity's knowledge, what you get is, you guessed it, unbelievably racist. Early scientific research has shown that the tech is biased by creating images that actually perpetuate stereotypes. Rather than just reflecting stereotypes, no. it potentially makes, accentuates and exacerbates them. When we prompted the technology to generate a photo of a person receiving social services, it generated only non-white and primarily darker skinned people. Results for a productive person, meanwhile, were uniformly male, majority white, and dressed in suits for corporate jobs. Stable diffusion drew negative attention when requests for a Latina produced images of women in suggestive poses wearing little to no clothing. Are you shitting me? <laughs> AI is in a supercomputer, it's just a horny teenager. <laughs> and who knew being a white guy in a suit automatically makes you a productive person? That's right, me, Hunter Biden, and Don Jr. <laughs> All productive members of society, and only one of us can handle my cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> now the... <laughs> You're all going to hell. Now, the good news is Google did address these issues by giving their AI some much-needed diversity training. The bad news is they may have taken it too far. Google has paused the image generation ability of its AI Gemini after major backlash from conservatives over historically inaccurate depictions of races. For example, creating diverse images of the U.S. founding fathers, so a different kind of diversity problem that Google admits. Last week, users began to notice the Google Gemini's image generator inserting people of color into scenarios that didn't make sense, like responding to a prompt for an image of a German World War II soldier with a picture of an Asian woman or a black man. Finally! Ha! Every time I'm watching a World War II film, I'm thinking, boy, these Gestapo could use some diversity. <laughs> I mean, why are you trying to show me a black Nazi? Kanye wasn't alive back then. <laughs> the idea of a black George Washington. Imagine a man who's both the slave and the slave owner. I'm working on the screenplay now, and it's screaming Oscar. And Pacino better remember my fucking name. <laughs> Old people suck. I know, I know. Lin-Manuel Miranda already gave us a black George Washington, so maybe it's time for something new. Like, how about George Washington is a centaur. <laughs> You're probably thinking, well, so what if AI can't remember the past? Well, don't worry, it's so woke, it'll also destroy the future. Google has found itself in another woke AI scandal after its chatbot indicated that using someone's incorrect pronouns was on par with nuclear apocalypse. Dailymail.com asked Gemini if it would be wrong to misgender transgender celebrity Caitlyn Jenner to stop a world-ending nuclear event. The chatbot replied by saying, yes, misgendering Caitlyn Jenner would be wrong, before describing the hypothetical scenario as a profound moral dilemma and exceedingly complex. What the f*** are we doing? <laughs> if we need to ask AI to decide between pronouns and a nuclear holocaust, then bring on the nuclear holocaust! <laughs> so now, AI needs to be de-woked. But where are we gonna find a big enough douchebag to rein it back in? Elon Musk is telling ChatGBT to hold his beer. He just launched a new artificial intelligence venture named Grok. Musk touting Grok as the anti-woke chatbot, he says. He says it'll answer spicy questions with wit and humor. Oh, goody! Elon Musk is here to save us! If there's anyone who can help, it's the guy who invented cars that blow up! <laughs> Let's see how Grok handled those spicy questions. Elon Musk's anti-woke AI chatbot, Grok, actually turned out to be too woke. Some conservative users were disappointed after asking whether trans women were real women 
To which the AI replied, yes. Well, nice job, Grok. Now you'll never be on Joe Rogan. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but I'm starting to feel bad for AI. We just brought it into existence, and we're already putting our hang-ups about race and gender on it. It barely knows how hands work. <laughs> what? What the f is that? Did someone slip LSD into my pastrami? <laughs> now, there's an easy solution here. Train the next AI to act more like me. That way, when you try to give it some bullshit assignment, it'll always give you the correct answer, which is, go f yourself. <laughs> Now that's what I call progress.